I'm truly excited about tonight, and I hope you all are too. Since we have a jam-packed evening, I've instructed the team at Lakeshore to expedite the dinner service so we can quickly move on to the fun part of the evening while still enjoying the culinary experience. I know numerous people have already inquired as to where is the money for the casino. <laughs> that money will be passed around by our Vegas showgirls during the dinner service. I want to take this opportunity to acknowledge the countless hours and hard work that went into planning each and every detail of tonight's gala. For our out-of-the-country guests, we have set up a U.S. currency conversion table. As a member benefit, we are exchanging U.S. dollars at par. <laughs> Please see any of our board members, and I'm sure they'll be happy to assist you in this matter. This evening would not have been possible without one particular individual, Dr. Peter Bastian. Being involved with the AGD for over 20 years and running the Ontario AGD chapter for himself for many years, Peter brought on the board the talented team that organizes all the programs the Ontario AGD delivers, including tonight's gala. He is responsible for teaching and training us not only to do better dentistry, but also to give back to the profession. Unfortunately, Peter was killed in a motorcycle accident on August 20th of this year and was unable to see the fruition of what he built. We thank him for the dedication in making the Ontario AGD what it is today. I would also like to thank our executive assistant, Melissa Mello, and the entire team of the Ontario AGD board for their tireless efforts in making this evening a success. A special thanks must also go to the staff at Lakeshore Convention Center for putting up with all our demands and executing this program with perfection. For those not working for or married to one, dentists are not the easiest people to deal with. With that note, we must thank our spouses and families for putting up with the crazy personalities, schedules, and time away from home as we serve the AGD. <laughs> Finally, I would like to thank all our sponsors for their help enabling us to deliver courses, provide better care to our patients, and enjoying this evening's festivities. A quick note regarding Lakeshore Convention Center. When we negotiated for tonight's event, we got a great deal by convincing them they would capture many potential Christmas parties, birthdays, second, third, and fourth weddings from the dental community. <laughs> Little do they know that dentists may have deep pockets, but short arms. All jokes aside, if planning something, I would highly encourage looking at this venue. The team here was incredible to deal with. So sit back, enjoy the food, drinks, entertainment, casino, dancing, and good luck at winning the many prizes behind me. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the great city of Mississauga, sixth largest in city in Canada, and debt-free. What more do you want? I welcome everybody. You know, I have a story for you. You know, you people, the dentists, are people, most people don't want to go to a dentist, right? Years ago, uh, because of the pain that they usually, you folks have really solved the problem. And now it's pleasant to go to a dentist. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I'm very proud of the Peel Halton Dental Association in this area. I worked with them 
and so did the region of Peel, that we're now providing dental service free of charge to seniors of a certain criteria based on their income. Something that, by the way, I say to you folks, is very essential today. That's one thing that OHIP doesn't cover, as you know, and therefore it is so important. I believe that you have the general dentist uh, persons have a contribution to make to our seniors that are in need. And I hope that every, each and every one of you make that contribution, etc. You know, dentists are so essential. I want to tell you a little story. I'm 92. I, I come from the Gaspé Coast of Quebec. And there wasn't a dentist when I was growing up within a couple of hundred miles of my little hometown. So the first toothache I had when I was 10 or 12, the general practitioner pulled the tooth out. That's the only tooth I've lost, by the way. I still have all my teeth, which is just great. And it's because of the good food that I ate when I was a kid. Organic, lots of fish, lots of wonderful vegetables, I didn't know what a hot dog or a hamburger looked at till I went to Quebec City in Montreal. So I can assure you that good food is very essential. The other thing I want to chat just one minute about, and that is we have a fantastic campaign going on in the region of Peel to take chlorine out of the water. We have not done that. There is still fluoride in our water system. And as you know, the Dentist Association has been against that. We've still upheld them. I think there should be far more research done than has been done in the past. But your organization, you, the people, the dentists, the general dentists, are such a valuable asset to each and every community in this great country of Canada. I think you should know that, as well as in the United States, of course. So you have a major contribution to make in your professional administration and performance of dental work, etc. But you also have a big responsibility to the community at large. And I hope you will take that into account. I don't want to hold up all the fun you're going to have, especially the casino. I'm sorry we don't have a casino in Toronto or Mississauga uh, yet. I don't know if we ever will have one, but there's a lot of Gambling goes on at many social functions, which is so much fun, etc. So have a great time in the great city of Mississauga, and every success to you as you perform your responsibility from a dental point of view and from the community point of view. Have a great time in Mississauga. I'm so proud that you're enjoying this beautiful facility that we have here in the city of Mississauga. Have a great evening. The Academy of General Dentistry, which includes Canada and the United States, has about 38,000 members. We're proud of every one of them, but I couldn't be more proud of the group of leaders that has put this function together. We have Neil Gajar, Filippo, Sanjay, Colwatt, and I know I'm forgetting somebody, but I'd like everybody who had anything to do with the promotion of this event to stand up so we can thank them. Neil and Filippo, thank you very much. My husband and I are both dentists, very involved in both the ADA, American Dental Association, and the AGD. And one thing we know is that together we will make a bigger dent in the profession than apart. So we really appreciate all of the other groups that are here tonight. We know that by taking the inspiration of a group like Canada, 
who is setting the bar for the rest of us that will go far. I have always complimented Canada with all they're doing, and we actually copied a lot of their ideas in our state of Washington. So we thank you very much. Thanks a lot for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Uh, I just want to do correct one oversight, and I truly apologize for it. Dr. Ferris Elias, if you can please stand. Past president of the Academy of General Dentistry and annual meetings council chair for our next annual meeting in Detroit. Good evening, everyone. It is absolutely wonderful to see so many people that we've kind of nurtured throughout the year. It's like the big brother telling the little brother, you did good. Actually, you did better than us. I remember a few years, about 20, 25 years ago, when Neil and his crew, including, God bless his soul, Peter, Bastian, and the rest of the Ontario Academy of General Dentistry came to Michigan asking us, how did you do things? How do you give continuing education free of charge to your members? And they learned, and they learned very well. They surpassed us. So this is absolutely wonderful. It makes me very, very proud. But let me speak to what to expect in Detroit. We are going to give you the best continuing education. We are going to give you the best venues, the best speakers. You are going to have not only fun, but you are going to learn in the meantime, I hope you all make a trip to the north, Detroit, of course, and we will show you what good, great fun is. Forget all the bad news. Bad news are everything. It has nothing to do with the convention or the venue or where we are going to be meeting. It's absolutely wonderful. So please. Come and see us, because we are going to do for you as much and more than you expect. So good night, and have a great time tonight. Thank you, Ontario, and thank you, Canada, and thank you, my friends. I really appreciate it. Good evening, fellow colleagues, distinguished guests, and friends. Ontario AGD would like to welcome all of you to our gala. Tonight is a celebration of the hard work and efforts of the Ontario AGD board, as well as a celebration of you, the AGD member. We know that you work very hard at the profession that you have chosen. You strive for excellence in patient care, along with excellence in those MODBLs and crown margins that you do. As the education year commences, the Ontario AGD wanted to kick off, get it kicked off with a bang, hence this gala. We, along with our sponsors and Lakeshore Convention Center, have worked hard so that you, the member, can sit back have fun, and truly enjoy this evening. So, what can be said of a general dentist? You might ask, why do we do what we do? These are questions that we ask of ourselves daily. You may answer that there is a personal fulfillment in helping someone by restoring a smile and giving that patient back their pride, or relieving someone's pain, or cutting that perfect prep. We inherently have a need to help someone, and as such, we, the general dentist, are the quarterbacks of oral care for our patients. The Ontario AGD is also the quarterback to your success. 
We are a leader in the CE world. We are innovative in the types of courses that are presented. We have developed our own app, namely Search for CE, which is available in all platforms. We have a CE directory, which is distributed to every dentist in Canada. In the upcoming CE year, we have more quality courses, more discounts, and more Core 1 courses. All of these achievements are a result of the AGD, AGD board that works well as a team, namely Dr. Neil Gajar, our visionary, Dr. Phil Marcello, a hard worker and winner of the National Recruiter of the Year Award for the past few years, Dr. Frank Infusini, our treasurer, a person who is very responsible but makes it very difficult for us to get a dime from him. Dr. Joe Belsito, membership chair, who works hard at retaining our members year after year. Dr. Ken Lawler, our secretary, keeping diligent notes of our past and upcoming future. Dr. Sarah Mancuso, staying on top of promoting student membership and social networks. Dr. Sanjay Upal, logistics and course, courses and planning, and keeping us in line since he can out bench press all of us put together. Melissa, our admi administrative assistant, a friendly voice and contact to the membership. AGD is the voice of the general dentist. I applaud you on being an Ontario AGD member but would encourage you to ask your non-AGD colleagues to join our organization. Think of why you became an AGD member. Maybe it was the fact that AGD had your back on issues that concern general dentists. Maybe it was seeing a familiar face at courses. Or maybe it's just getting a free evening to enjoy tonight. We, the Ontario AGD Board, are honored and privileged to serve our members. Thank you for your continued support, and we look forward to all of you at our next course. Tonight, we would like to honor two of our student members, Sherry Matthew from UWO and Matthew Chuck from U of T. Congratulations to the both of you for being named recipients of the Academy of General Dentists 2013 Senior Student Dental Award. <laughs> Your hard work and dedication and commitment to the general dentistry profession has set you apart from your classmates. And the AGD is here to ensure that you can continue to do so at every stage of your dental career. As part of this award, we are pleased to announce we have extended your AGD membership free through 2014. Now that you've transitioned from student to active general dentist, we wish you both nothing but the best of luck in your careers. Once again, congratulations on the AGD Senior Student Award.
tonight is an evening of entertainment. And a big part of that entertainment tonight is the culinary experience. And it wouldn't be an experience if we don't take a few minutes to hear what to expect for our main course this evening from Lakeshore's executive chef, Cosimo Stefanucci. Hello, everyone. Thank you for uh, attending tonight. Um, I hope you would enjoy everything that we prepared for you. And uh, we got the main course. This is coming out right now. So bon appetit. Thank you very much. For our final closing remarks and to introduce the other elements that will follow tonight's culinary experience, I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Sanjay Upal. I know earlier in Dr. Turner's speech, he mentioned me as a visionary. Unfortunately, that was about five years ago when I could still see straight. Hands down, tonight's event was the brainchild of Sanjay. And I think he did a fantastic job of putting it together and delivering what nobody expected we would have tonight. Thank you, Sanjay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it was definitely a team effort. You guys having a great evening? All right, well, it's just about to get better. That was the dull part. This is the best part of the evening. Everyone knows I love dessert. I love dessert, so we're approaching dessert. Uh, we have lots of prizes available. As you guys can see, and I saw some people coming up and taking a look at them. So uh, we have martini bars going on, music's coming on the stage, we have live music, dancing, and so much more. Uh, to finish off the dessert station, we have a live dessert station after the initial dessert station outside, so... <laughs> I tried to get a third dessert table. Frank and Fazzini outvoted us, so he's a treasurer. For next year's gala, we need to petition for three desserts for the evening. Send the emails into ontarioagd at gmail.com. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to let you know that Melissa is our only staff member, and she put together this evening. Where's Melissa? Stand up. Where is she? Where did she go? I don't know where she is. Oh, there she is. Thank you very much, Melissa. So... Um, I've uh, worked alongside with her for about a year, probably drove her crazy, as every dentist does to other people. Uh, and she's just been wonderful. She, she helped me and uh, registered everybody in this hall. We have a very small active board that's basically been putting this thing together. Every detail, every small detail, and Neil's wrong. It's not me, it's everybody together like Kawan said. And uh, Neil is the visionary. Um, I also wanted to let you know that we reached out to a lot of other groups for putting this evening together. We had a lot of designers involved, printers, decor artists, the banquet hall staff, and finally all of our sponsors. And we have tons of sponsors in here that have supported the AGD in Ontario for over 10 years. And, and every time I go to them, they're so grateful and gracious to support our organization. Uh, they're always here, to, whether it's courses or... Uh, money to pay for these kind of events. They're, they're just so wonderful. I also want to mention um, one of our valet sponsors, Hyosin, it has left a package for everybody in their cars uh, to take home for this evening. We can never say enough to our dedicated members. And, uh, and as our organization continues to grow, I want to thank the membership for continuing to renew your membership. The October renewals are coming up. Just to let you know, so October 1st, start renewing your membership so we can provide some great programs like this for next year. We ask you to take that membership form in your package and give it to a friend like Kawan said, and let's make this organization even stronger. Finally, we're just gonna get on to the rules of the casino tonight, which is what you're all here for, and the, and the fun will begin here. Uh, everyone's given $500, so the, the curtains are gonna open up, obviously. 
So if you don't want to play in the casino and you just want to drink and have the second round of dessert, no problem. You get 50 raffle tickets for those $500. So each $10 chip or $10 increment is worth one raffle ticket. So you can basically put any raffle ticket anywhere. Don't put both tickets in there because you don't have a ticket to correspond to. And it's a number, so we don't have names. You have to be here to win when we draw the prize. So if we call a number out, we're going to call it out three or four times. If there's no winner, we go on and we get the next one. All of these prizes are open to anybody except for this 50-inch TV is only open to AGD members. So if you're not an AGD member, why are you not an AGD member? That's first of all, and you're a dentist. That's the first thing. And secondly, find an AGD member that will give you that TV. <laughs> no, I'm sure. No. Uh, it's made for AGD members and... The second prize is the Louis Vuitton purse. Apparently, that's a popular item. The Ontario AGD board members and families cannot win. So, uh, all the other prizes are open to everybody else. And I just want to thank you for continuing to be such loyal members and coming out to this event. We'll see you in a couple hours, and we'll give you a five-minute warning when the casino's done. And I hope we can provide this successful gala like this for 2014. Thank you very much, and let's just party it up, guys. All right.